Hello, welcome home, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I hope you're doing amazing. So obviously this is a Dominican Republic vlog, but before we get into the vlog, I have a really fun, exciting, exciting announcement. Sorry, I'm very excited um, to announce with you guys. So a company called Trova Trip recently reached out to me and basically they plan and host amazing trips to tons of places around the world. Um, and I have the opportunity to go on a trip with my followers, which is literally like, probably the greatest thing I could possibly think of doing. Um, as you guys know, I love traveling. It's like one of my biggest passions in life. And yeah, I think it would be amazing. I would be so excited. Um, but there is a little survey that I'm going to link in the description that I would love if you guys could fill out, basically to see how many people are interested in doing this. And then I'll also ask you questions on like where you'd wanna go, what your budget is, what types of things you'd wanna do on the trip. Basically just to get an idea of what people are interested in doing and where you guys wanna go, which there's so many places we could go. It's amazing, I'm so excited. So please, please fill out the survey because I would love to know how many of you guys would be interested in doing something like this and it would help me out a lot to get an idea of what you guys are interested in doing. I am so excited. Yeah, I think it would be so much fun to go on a trip with you guys. I would actually be able to meet you guys. We could travel together. We could do fun things. We could do little wellness things. I just think it'd be so fun to share such a big passion of mine with a lot of you. So please go fill out the survey. Um, thank you guys so much and let's get into the vlog. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday and it is the last week that James and I are in the Dominican Republic. If you haven't seen my last or my first, my only other <laughs> Dominican Republic vlog, go check it out. I kind of vlogged here and there like the first week and a half that we were here. It's a little sporadic all over the place. So I was thinking this vlog I would I don't know, just take you guys through the last week that we're here. We kind of have like our routine set now that we've been here for two weeks. So we've been like waking up, going to the beach, James has been surfing, I've been reading, and then we'll be going to the gym because we got a gym membership. Also, sorry for how loud it is. There's like a busy road out there. James is doing the dishes. I feel like I'm screaming. So yeah, we kind of have like our routine. We're both working still, so James works throughout the day, but because of the time difference, we're four hours ahead. So he doesn't have to start work until around like noon or like 12.30, which is great because we have the whole morning to kind of do whatever we want. So, happy Monday. Today we are going to the beach. James is gonna serve. I just finished the book Verity, which if you guys have heard of it, it's like so TikTok famous. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it because I finished the two books that I brought here, so I needed to buy something on my phone because I don't have like a tablet or anything, so I've just been reading on my phone, which isn't the best, but I don't really have any other options, and I'm sitting on the beach in the morning for like an hour, I may as well do something. So I finished Verity. It was okay, like, it was just a lot, I don't know, I just felt like it was just kind of dumb, but it was also so good because I literally couldn't put it down. So like, the plot, not that great, but also like the writing, I guess, was good because I just needed to know how it ended. So I actually just bought a book this morning on my phone because I need something to read today. So what am I reading? Hold on. Okay, so the book is called Quiet in Her Bones by Nalini Singh. And it's like another mystery, obviously, because I literally, do I ever read anything else? Not really. Besides nonfiction self-help books. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to the beach and then I think we're going to try to go to the gym after if we have time, hopefully. I really want to go. I'm drinking a tiny bit of coffee. And I'm not going to do my full skincare routine because I know I'm going to take a shower after the gym. But I got to do my SPF. I've been really good about wearing sunscreen on my face, not so much the rest of my body. But I've been using this Dermatology SPF. Um, it's 45, which is pretty good. And it doesn't make, like, it doesn't give me a white film, which. Hey, you know, sunscreens have to make your face look super pasty. I also got attacked by a wasp yesterday at the beach for literally no reason. I was just laying there reading, minding my own business, and I just kept feeling like this weird stinging on my back, and I finally like brushed whatever was on me off, and it was a wasp, and then it just kept coming after me, and I had to like frantically run down to the water, and I looked like a crazy person.
Okay, don't judge this grocery haul. It's not the healthiest, but keep in mind that we already have eggs, rice, pasta, broccoli, tomatoes, lettuce, onion, and bell pepper, I think, and cucumbers. So we already have a ton of veggies. So this isn't a very veggie heavy grocery haul and we're only here for one more week. So I don't think we wanted to get stuff that would like get yucky. What are you eating? Croissant. <laughs> okay. We got a lot of bread. Um, we got, I don't know, James picked this out. It's like chocolate cereal, just as a snack. I don't know. It's yummy. Cereal's good. Got bread instead of bagels this time for just like eggs and toast in the morning. We got a baguette because I got stuff to make like a banh mi besides tofu. We have like all the veggies and everything. So I think we might have that. I don't even know if I'm gonna have breakfast. Are you having breakfast? Okay. And I got tortillas. We accidentally got these um, muffins. I didn't see that they were sugar-free, but I guess we'll see if they're good. I don't know. More ramen. We'll have ramen with veggies and eggs. Got some cilantro. One singular carrot. James found these veggie spring rolls. So we have those. And then more of these little hot dog veggie sausage things. These banana nut muffins are so good. Literally the greatest thing on earth, so I had to get some. We found refried beans for more protein. We got almond milk for coffee in the cereal, pasta sauce, corn, and then we got some electrolytes. There you have it. Okay, decided to add some fried eggs in there to get some protein because we don't have like tofu or anything. So it's sort of like a breakfast banh mi. I don't really know if this is a thing, but it looks pretty good. I think the only thing I'm missing is sriracha, which we don't have, but that's okay. I'm sure it will still taste good. You guys, the banh mi with the fried egg. So good, so good. Okay, this is like one of the only flavors I hadn't tried yet um, of the electrolytes and it is by far the best. It's so good. I'm obsessed. Blueberry or blackberry. I'm guessing blueberry though. I could be wrong. Oh my god, James just made me a veggie sandwich with vegan hot dogs and all the veggies. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, so for dinner, I made just some linguine with regular old pasta sauce and a Beyond sausage that we had. So I just mixed all that together and got some protein, got some carbs, lots of carbs, and that's dinner. That'll do it. Good morning, I'm so tired. We need to get a new water because we're basically out of water so we couldn't make coffee this morning. I think I'm tired just regardless, but 
I'm going to the beach again and then also going to try to go to the gym again today. I need to work out. I haven't worked out since like Thursday or Wednesday or something. Push day. Today's actually the first day of March, which I totally forgot to mention. I am journaling, which is something I love to do in the beginning of the month is like writing down all my goals, planning out the month, you know, sort of like just reflecting on the past month and thinking about like how I want to spend my time this month and like the goals that I have, all that kind of stuff. Um, so actually these two pages are completely directly copied off of my March wellness guide. So yeah, I just launched my March one today. So if you want to purchase or subscribe, I'll have the link in the description. There are tons of journal prompts, tons of like monthly planning, weekly planning pages, habit trackers, there's recipes, there's workouts, there's weekly challenges, monthly reflections, like literally everything you need for your wellness journey. So this is sort of like the type of stuff you can expect in there. It's really important when you have your goals that you have a step and that you're I used to write like 10 goals in the beginning of the month and of course I wouldn't achieve them all because that's just so much, like it's so overwhelming. So three is the lucky number, the good number to have and then having a step for your goal also very important. And then these are major to do's, habits, affirmations, manifestations and reminders, kind of like priorities, any like, you know, appointments or like things that you need to remind yourself of for this month that are important. James just made a super yummy lunch, it's like we used, or he used the last packet of ramen and then the rest of the veggies. So cucumber, tomato, bell pepper, corn, and then yeah, the ramen noodles and these veggie sprinkles that we bought at the store the other day that we hadn't eaten yet. And he used like, we left the sour, we had sauerkraut a while ago and we kept the like brine from it basically. And he used it as a dressing and this is actually so good. Like it's almost like a vinaigrette. It's really good. You really outdid yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. My hair looks a little crazy. So it is officially our last day in the Dominican Republic. Tomorrow we're leaving. Our flight is not until three, but we're like a four hour drive from the airport. And obviously we have to get to the airport at least a couple hours early. So we're getting picked up tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, so this is like officially our last day. We don't really, we won't really have much time in the morning to do much. So I think James is gonna go surfing this morning one last little hurrah. We have to get our COVID test actually because you have to have gotten it within 24 hours of flying into the United States. You have to have a negative COVID test. Even though James and I are both vaccinated, I brought my vaccination card, but it doesn't matter. You still have to have a negative COVID test. So we have to get COVID tests and we're gonna pack up today. I don't know what else we're doing. I think James is working. Should be fun. Back at the beach. Basically, we just do the exact same thing every day. I just come to the beach, I read my book, James surfs. I should surf, but I have this really irrational fear in my head and I really want to. And I beat myself up about it every single time we come here. I'm like, I really want to, but I don't even know what I'm scared of. Because I've surfed before and I really like it. And I want to get good at it. And every time we go, I regret not going. But there's just something, there's a little voice in my head and I keep listening to it and I need to stop. I also like have this weird thing where like, I don't like surfing places I've never surfed before. So like, I just like have my spot back home where like I feel comfortable surfing, but then when we go somewhere new, for some reason, I'm just like not used to it, so it scares me, I guess. 
There's so many beginners here though, I don't know what I'm even scared of, but anyways, I'm sitting on the beach and I'm gonna read my book on my phone and get tan. I finally put sunscreen on today on my entire body, which you would think after two weeks of being here, you know, it wouldn't take me that long, but here we are. There's been so many rainbows here, they're so pretty. I was gonna wear a romper, but I ended up just going a little more casual. These shorts, and then this is like one of my favorite tops that I own. Because of the back, besides my wasp, wasp stings. But I love the back of it. It's from Princess Polly. I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I'll link it below. And then my slides, of course, every day. I also put on a little bit of makeup and mascara, which I haven't done since like the first couple nights that we were here just because I, I don't know, I don't like wearing makeup, especially if I'm like sweating in like a humid environment and then, I don't know, I don't have like makeup remover either that I brought, so sometimes the mascara just like stays under my eyes for a while. Presidentes, that's the beer here. That's a big bop. I'm back from the Dominican Republic. Um, James and I have actually been back for about a week now. I never vlogged. I think like the last day or the traveling back just it was a lot it was like a four hour shuttle to the airport and then we had a layover in Miami and just I don't know for some reason I feel like normally even if I have like layovers and stuff it just seems seamless when I go through the air airport and like security and everything but for some reason this time just seemed like everything seemed like it was taking so long I felt like I had to show my passport like 800 times to people so I don't know it was just like a little bit chaotic um life's just been really crazy lately but I hope you guys enjoyed the Dominican Republic vlog this is the second one so if you haven't seen the first one I highly suggest watching that one too hopefully we will have some more trips planned in the near future so I can make some more little travel content vlogs because Literally, there's nothing on earth that I love more than traveling and going to see new places and stuff. So hopefully we'll have some more of those coming soon for you guys. But thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!